Hello and welcome. My name is Ajax Post and you join me once again here in Transport Fever 2 here on the Bristol map. Looking at a not very Bristolian place at all. This is Newport of course in South Wales and we recently in the last episode uh, added it I did a station to the town and a bus stop, in fact several bus stops really, but that's a bus station more particularly. Yet we extended our Midlands and South Wales line, which comes all the way down from Stonehouse here in England, across the Severn using the old Severn Railway Bridge, which is still there even though the year is 1927. Gosh, time has flown on. Yes, yeah, so we're still using that bridge, which I'm not sure if they were really in real life. Uh, we should have a tunnel working by now, but we haven't, as we discussed in the last episode. <laughs> yeah, so we've extended that line from Chepstow, bypassing Port Stewart Pier outside Caldicott, all the way down here to Newport, which is a very long run. Now, I think that line, let's click on here, we've got more people waiting now, so the, the demand is picking up. The line has lost a lot of money so far, one and a half million almost. But uh, this year, it's looking better. We've got three trains on the line. Yeah. And... Oh, one of them made money. Excellent. <laughs> yes. They are all actually at the other end of this line. So it's going to be a while before we see one down here. Which is a bit frustrating. But that's the way of it. There is demand for passengers up there, to be honest. So uh, they should make some sort of money. But what we're here going to do today is... I want to work on this to develop this so there's more demand in Newport and get this this end of the map sort of growing somewhat. Now I think I rather glibly said in the last episode, oh we've got Newport here, we can connect that in, it's a big town into, into that line and we'll supply it with goods and stuff. What I hadn't done is actually look properly at the industries I've got around here. There are quite a few around Newport, I mean it's that's fair enough, there, there is a fair industrial, well there was anyway, <laughs> there was a fair amount of industry around Newport, being a port and all, um, but it's not friendly in terms of I can't take one or two bits of cargo and make money in the town. It needs, is that machinery or tools? I can never remember. Machines, which needs wood and steel to make, and steel needs coal and iron. Where's iron? Some iron over there. And we do have logs to make wood here, so we could make this. But it's a bit of a, a long-winded, complicated chain, which isn't helped by the fact that to make steel, I need two iron and two coal to produce one single unit of steel. It's okay, I've got two, three, four coal mines around here, but only the one or iron ore mine over there. Um, and likewise for planks, I need two wood. I've got one there, that might suffice, but there's likely to be an imbalance here. Now as you know, uh, if I haven't mentioned it for a little while, but I do have the sandbox mode turned on. So I could actually alter the demands in the town, or I could actually place or replace some of the industries around here to make my life easier. But I've thought, no. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to see if I can make this work. Now, looking at the distances here and the fact that I don't have a vast amount of money to play with, I currently have just uh, well just under seven hundred thousand in the bank, which will buy me a station, and that's about it. Um, I have paid down some of the loan, so I can take out another eleven million. I think. I think I can still only go up to thirty million which will buy me a train, possibly two small trains. So what I'm thinking is we'll have a train line to get the coal, sorry, to get the iron ore in, and the rest of this we'll do with trucks. Now, we, what trucks do we have? I think they're getting faster now. Cargo. Look at that, 25 miles an hour. That is grease lightning. It's almost, well, 50% again faster than it was previously. Right, so let's get cracking on this. Now, we want a train station which comes up here to deliver the steel. Now, ideally, we'd probably take the steel by train at some point. We may not do this immediately into the machine factory here. We haven't got another one closer, have we? No. 
so, and I have a suspicion the contours around here aren't friendly. It's quite an up and down kind of part of the world, which is nice. Something I South Wales is like that. So, if we actually, I'm thinking, uh, what's what, let's just turn the contours on, see if that actually helps. <gasps> Big thick black line. That means heavy contouring. It means a bit of a slope. That's what that means. Okay. So could I put a cargo station that side? Okay, I want to turn you around a bit. A bit like that. Can I connect you in? You, well, you do connect just about. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. We might get away with that. If I put two, three tracks in there... It's starting to eat into the hill, but I think we could get away with that. Particularly if I place that this a bit further. So let's try that. We don't actually need three tracks just yet. Do we need two? We'll put two in. We might as well put two in now just to get it going. Um, we don't want, don't want electric. Uh, we're not going to have any slope. We don't need slope on this, so that's okay. Three, two, one. That's three, two, one. Who remember? No, don't talk about that, Adrian. Three, two, one. No, stop it. <laughs> You'll only embarrass yourself and your viewers. Uh, can I? Oh, come on. Let me let me get that a little bit cheaper. There, it's placed. Okay, so we've got you, and we're going to want. Uh, an iron ore station down here. We only need the one track. I mean, at the moment, our trains aren't really powerful enough. Actually, that's, that's not true. We have moved on about a year and a half, possibly close to, to two years since you were last with me, and we have had a new bunch of trains come into the shop. So we might be able to get properly powerful trains to take large amounts of cargo. Um, but we'll pretend we can't at the moment. Okay, so... We're going to need that. It doesn't really matter what direction it goes in. It's going to have to go over the passenger line, though. Okay. Can I... What would be nice... Because it, do, it doesn't like doing it on an angle, does it? There. Um, okay, let's, let's delete. Can I delete this, this bit of road? I just feel like putting the station closer into the actual industry, if I can. But it's not going to play ball, is it? I think it's, it's this particular station building that's, that's annoying me. It's not great for connections. This through station, I think, has better connectivity. Oh, I don't want to... Because I don't want to turn it around like... Actually, if I turn it around like that... What I could do... Hmm, I could place a through station there. See, that fits in very nicely. But it's going in the wrong orientation. Or I could put it... Ah! If I put it like that... Again, there's, there's no connectivity there at the end okay well let's let's we might mess around with this then so we just want the one track and uh, we'll stick you down here a piece I think there you are you'll do okay We'll make do with that. Okay, so, right, what we need to do, we need some track. We'll take some track. Um, no catenaries. I don't think we need high speed yet. Um, we don't think I'm going to have any trains that will go that fast just yet. Okay, so we want to go. Could I actually bridge across here? 
Not using the invisible bridge, though. <laughs> I do wish that wasn't an option. Uh, what sort of bridges do we have here? Actually, our bridge looks quite feasible there, so let's see if we can create one. Nope. Uh, we probably need to go up one more than that. There we go. I think you'll work there. Right, so what sort of bridge shall we have then, chaps? And chapesses. Yes, I don't know. I think most of my viewership, I, this, this is just an, under the tangent, if you don't mind, is predominantly male. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Um, I think there is some... There are a number of female viewers, but... Uh, actually, no, I know there are, because some of you do comment. They're not necessarily on the transport uh, fever videos. Oh, that's better. That doesn't clip the track at all, and it looks quite, yeah, industrial. We'll, we'll take you, I think, yep. Yeah. Don't need you to be too big, because we'll bring you down to earth. Oh, I can, can you have a bridge on a slope? Is that a done thing? It is now. Right, so let's bring you back to ground there. Well, that works fine. Um, do we... I've run out of money. I do need that loan. Okay. So... This is quite a long way, actually, isn't it? <laughs> and I might well need two trains on here. But I think what we will do... Oh, yeah, I'll take you to ground as soon as I can is a no the bridge is oh no, the bridge I think is cheaper than the embankment but then again having that much bridge does look a bit yeah doesn't it but to be honest I want to save some money at the moment, so we'll take you down there, that's good. Then you should be a lot cheaper from here on in. Yeah, was I, was I following a train of thought then before I sort of concentrated on the game and lost my track? <laughs> Possibly. Yeah, if, if I remember I'll, uh, I'll return to it, but I probably won't because my memory is a, a curious beast. Okay. Uh, actually, what we could do, could we have you running alongside the road? We could, but you are very expensive. Let's uh, see if we can cut our costs a little bit. Oh, quite a lot, in fact. Yes, let's, let's do that. Yes. That's for when it tries to even out. Oh, I love how this... We could well put a station in here at some point. Right, so if we put you there, I think getting across this bit of road is going to prove... No, not at all difficult. It's going to look very naff, so we may want to... remove that bit of road at some point. We'll see how it turns out. Uh, okay, so we've got you going in there. I think we will have, if we're sending the steel to the machine factory here, it'll go around the other side of Newport. It'll come round here, so it'll be a long-winded journey, but what the heck. I think that will work. Splendid. Now the thing is... I could pick up with coal there, couldn't I? I could. Hmm. Rather than doing trucks from there. Yeah, let's do that. Let's let's yeah, let's destroy this road. That's it. 
And I'll probably want to get rid of some of this track. Where's our station going to go? Ah, uh, we're going to... We'll need to be further out from the... From the station. Ah, uh, from the industry there. Uh, what am I looking at? Yeah, that's right. One, one, one. Yeah, that's good. Let's spin you round. Ooh, actually... This very nearly fits, except that it doesn't. If I took that bit of track out, and put some more in, uh, don't want buildings, I want track, there you go. Whoops, connect it up. A little bit like that. No, it's still a bit too far out. Unless I'm just wondering, can I fit? A platform. Now that works, but it won't work the other way round. No, it's the building that's in the way. I could cheat a little. No, you can't put steps on a cargo platform, can you? I couldn't. I could cheat a lot on this, to be honest, by using a passenger platform connection. But I'm not going to. I'm going to play it legitimately, ethically, and morally correct. Are you going to connect to this industry? No, you're not, are you? Oh, you're a pain in the posterior. Have I got to go that side of you? Can I not build a bit of a road? Uh, just a little cheap bit of road. Well, I'm not actually going to lay this, so if I... Oh, it doesn't connect at all. There are no connectors on that side of the industry. Now, now that is a proper pain. But if I bring that track actually up here and around... Oh, okay. Right. This is a little bit wasteful. And I could do without wasting money. Am I going to have to take that all the way back? I think I probably am. Darn. There you go. Right. So, if we... I don't like that bit of road. You probably won't get in the way, but I don't want to risk it. So if I place you... like there. Okay. And then run this track. How easily do you connect up to that stub there? Go on, connect your unhelpful piece of kit. <laughs> no. Oh, you're not, are you at all? Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to run alongside the passenger line, which was kind of in my thoughts. It was part of my thinking before I laid this track down, but... Oh well. Let's, uh, let's see. So if we run... If you start getting expensive there, don't you? Let's run you to there. Can I just cross over? I want to do this sort of sensibly. So actually, if we do it sort of close to these signals, and that gives us some control. Uh, so you're going up your... Okay, that's, that's fine, I think. So if we put you there... Can I... 
slip here like so and keeping a good speed I think they are I think they are okay I mean the speed on the freight line isn't the key here that isn't the most important thing the passenger lines need to be keeping their speed as best they can oh you're looking very cheap so far that is actually that is quite cheap so okay we'll take you there and to there oh that that's that's an expensive Bend. Oh, it's not an expensive bend. Don't say that because it's not right. What you're saying is that is expensive. It's costly in terms of speed. That's what I was trying to say because it's slowed down. Oh, that's it. You're not slowing down there. Okay. On the assumption they will actually achieve <laughs> some sort of some sort of near to full speed. Right. So uh, this does look a little bit ugly, but that's okay. Actually, it does look very ugly, but it'll work. It will work. Trust me. Uh, 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 three aspect signal. Uh, you're going in that direction. Oh, you're the one without a pole. We'd like one with a pole, please. There you are. That's better. So if we stick you there. And in the other direction. That's you there, so you don't interfere with the passenger traffic. So how are you doing? Where's the passenger signals? You should be fine, I think. Okay, so we've got that. So we need to... Oh, that's right, we're taking... Oh, that's connecting up there. This, this is slow and tight isn't it in terms of track can I connect you to I'm not sure if this station here will work at all we might as well use trucks actually no no we won't right change of plan again have you ever heard me say that before? Uh, possibly. Uh, delete that. And that, and that, and that. This better work. That's all I'm saying. Put you... There. Now I'm going to assume that I can take a bridge out across that bay, out across that inlet there, out across the water. We'll put two tracks on here to start with because we will probably want them. Though not immediately. That looks okay. So if I put you there. Right. Back into the tracks. Yeah, this should work better. So I'll take you out. Oh! In what sense better? Yeah. Okay. I wasn't planning on that. So there... <laughs> oh, heck. Okay, it's not too bad of a tunnel, is it? No invisible bridges. You're going to connect up to that? Oh, you can. That looks kind of expensive, but I don't think it is, to be honest. I think that is reasonably well... Well, that is, that is a tight bend there. Could I... Should I move this station down to make that bend less unfriendly? Yes. Assuming I can do that. Let's put you in there. We'll just put the one track on there for the moment. Look at how far down I can tell. Oh, I can take you quite a way down. That looks good. Some more 
trackage. Okay, you, you, you really do slow up before you go into the station, which is reasonable. It is reasonable. But let's see if we can make that a little less slow. Okay, I'm, I think I'm happier with that. Right, okay, so we should now be able to get a much more... Where's me? There it is. A much more rational... I, I, I don't think that's any more rational at all, is it? To be honest. But if we take you out this way... Like so... Okay. And then bring you in like there. You are getting quite expensive because I'm cutting through that landscape. Can I avoid that to any extent? Yes. Right, now can I find whichever bridge it was that I had? Oh, we'll have a different type of bridge. It doesn't really matter, does it? Yeah, but not you. Or... How would an embankment actually? How much would that cost? 274. Yeah, bridges are much more cost effective. I think you're a nice looking bridge. We'll go with you. Okay. Right, so what uh, do we have here? What I am thinking is we've got the. Iron ore and the coal coming in from there. We'll try that on one train to start with, I think. Yeah. We'll add in the other coal mine here in due course. Um, now, the logs... Yeah, we can just use the road route for that, but that is a very silly bit of road. So let's reshape that a little bit. Um, 40 miles an hour, I think that's 21 grand. I'm okay with that. Okay, uh, so we want a cargo building down here. Oh, what's this? Oh, it's another. I really should play around with some of these station mods I've got because some of them offer a lot of features and functionality which I'm really not familiar with, which would make them look a whole lot nicer. Uh, don't If I can get away with it, I don't particularly want to create any new roads. You'll do. Actually, if I put, can I put you there? No, you don't connect. <laughs> okay, we'll place you in here then. Uh, that's right, I think. Uh, we don't need two platforms. Just need the one. Okay. I will configure you. Because we've got some of these funky new buildings here we can use. Uh, so we will actually delete you. And we'll put on which one? You're one of those. But you, I think, look nicer in this context. Because you're going to just be collecting wood from the forest, aren't you? That's good. And uh, we need a truck stop here. And this one will want to... No, don't press delete. Press this and press the N key to spin it around. We will want two platforms here because we have in and out. Yeah, you'll be all right. Ooh, how am I going to get you across the water? I'll worry about that in a minute. <laughs> okay, if we put you here-ish, I think. Uh, somewhere within reach of the... Actually, if I build a little bit of road in there... Do you connect this side as well? Oh, you do! Excellent! Right, so I can put you in there and connect you to there, which means 
I can put the truck stop further away. Any cheaper though? Well, you are quite cheap up there. This looks a little bit unreal, does it not? That is this far away from the sawmill. But I'm not going to worry about that. <laughs> I am not. I will configure you again. Uh, oh, we can delete you. Uh, you. I'll put some cargo in. We'll put you in. And just you over there for receiving of goods. We don't need you to be as big. Okay, so we've got planks. We need to get them then and the steel down to the machine's factory there. What we could do is have a little bit of road Going over here, perhaps. Alright, yeah, I'm not entirely convinced by that, but... Actually, you're, you're reasonably inexpensive, I think. Yeah, we'll uh, send you to there. Okay. And then, right, what uh, roads can we put on our steel mill here? Oh, right, okay, so you connect on that side as well, so you're good. Which means I can connect you. Ooh, it's fiddling about with the bridge there. Why, why, why are you so expensive all of a sudden? Don't, don't, do not be expensive. Do not fiddle with ah. Uh, um, mm. This this is a. Mm, I don't like this. It's obviously tinkering with the engineering on the bridge, isn't it? Yeah, you can see that it's adjusting the pillars. You do not need to do that. No, you do, oh, do not need that. How far away do you need to be to not fiddle with that bridge? Actually, you know what I'm going to do? If I take you out, build a bit of road which goes That will be cheaper. Okay, so you can go there. Ah, cool. Right, that is a lot cheaper. Right, and you can then use that bridge. Do I want you to use that bridge, though? Because we've got a bridge down here, haven't we? Right. Uh, so we'll connect you up to there. Why do you not curve like you're supposed to? I'd like you to curve. Like into... You do not want to curve, do you? <laughs> Okay, we'll have a relatively straight piece of road. Right, so you're going down there. So, so we can use the coal from there. We've got a now we've now got a road to get the coal up. Right, so we can place a cargo building here. Which can actually uh, sit in be nice if it actually can I put you the other side of the actually do I need that road at all I probably don't looks like I've, looks like I've got a connection there yeah there's a little bit of concretey path thing there but I can put you in here and I just need to tinker with that road a little bit let's uh, spin you around a little bit make it look as if you line up with the building 77 okay gosh some of these things are expensive there you go that will do 
And what we want to do here, you are a bit close to the building. Can I extend you? Uh, so we'll put in one of these sheds. I can put you on there. That's cool. And you'll just, just be taking deliveries on this side. So that's okay. We'll leave you as you are. Right, so what have we got? I think oh, we need this one as well. Okay. Again, your incoming and outgoing. It's nice if it's if it sort of becomes part of the industrial complex itself, does isn't it? If I place you somewhere like that. The only trouble is then I can't actually I can extend it. I can. That's what I can then do. I can figure you. I can put more cargo there. Right, so what have we got? We've got things coming in and things going out. So if I put you there, can I just sort of delete you? One module will be removed. Okay, the whole side. Fair enough. If you're going to play silly beggars like that, there you go. That's steel. That's the mach That's the machines warehouse. That's right. Okay. Right, and finally connect you up to that piece of road. Okay, I think we've now got it. So, we need... And our goodness knows where I'm getting the train from. <laughs> oh, I hadn't thought of that. I haven't got a depot for the trains. Did I, did I build one? No, I didn't build one here in Newport. That came from Lydney up north, didn't it? Um, and there is no connection... There is no connection. I could actually. I could cheat it, I think. Um, right, so if I make this... Uh, do I need that to be a double slip to, to go across there? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. Right, so... Yeah, the only trouble is no. That that, that I'm just I'm just trying to think how I can get a train down there from my depot in Lydney. Would it be how much would a depot cost? Let just 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 see that. Uh, where would a depot be? Probably here by the steel mill. Oh look, random bits of road left floating around in the middle of the. Oh, except it's not mm, not very well placed there, is it? Okay, so if we put a depot in here, that's that's not the depot I want. That's the depot I want. So that's going to cost me 20. And if I turn it around that way, is there any possibility I could get that track connected to the track coming out of the station? That doesn't cost me too much money either, actually. That's relatively inexpensive. If I place you down there, let's just try this, shall we? Ooh, no. Too much. No, not too much at all. Right, you'll do the job. Did I, actually, is that depot electric? Is your depot electric? Yeah, another sort of tangential reference to an obscure, or it's not an obscure song at all, but it is quite old, so I don't know how many of you might remember that. If you have any idea what the heck I'm talking about. Um, and to be honest, you're probably better off not knowing for your own sanity, I think. Right, so we want a train going from the ore mine, going into the coal mine, going to the steel foundry. And that's it. Okay, right now, can I work this? So here, we are, can you tell it to unload everything? Oh, uh, 
Is that I thought there was an option where you could tell it not to load everything? Uh, rather than having to click which ones you do and don't want. I think that's the iron ore, isn't it? So at Roger East, Roger Branch, we will change these names momentarily. We're going to load you. Now we're going to use the same wagons for coal. Why is there such a bizarre percentage there? 60.000004 percent. I mean, why? <laughs> <laughs> right uh, now if I I'd never used this before but I'm going to assume that means it'll only fill up half the wagons with iron ore that better be how it works <laughs> okay right and here you're going to load with coal uh, uh, I could I'll definitely tell it not to unload here the iron ore, just in case it's tempted to do that. So if I fill you 50% with with coal, will that work? And then you'll just unload whatever you want to at Newport North, which is the steel foundry. And... Okay, so we need another... Oh, I didn't name that line, did I? What are we going to call this one? Newport Iron and Coal. It says what it is on the tin. Right, so we need another line uh, from... Okay, yeah, from the forest to the sawmill, which will be the Newport Timber Supply. We'll have another new line going from there to there. Uh, actually, does it want, do I want it to go up there? Can it go up there? It can. Or do I want it, it looks like it's much, that it's, it's slightly longer to go there, isn't it? Let's see if I can do this as two separate routes. So what we'll do, we'll bring the planks back from the steel mill along with the steel. So the trucks here will carry both. I think I can do that. So what are we going to call this one? Newport Wood Supply. And then finally, from Newport there to machines. Oh, it's not finally at all yet, is it? Right, so you're going to be... No, I need to get the machines into the town of Newport. Well, I'll call this one. Right, so we'll call this one Newport Machine Inputs because it's carrying both the inputs needed to make these machines. Right, so who wants machines then? Go on, tell me. You guys up here. Right, and you are pretty much all over here. So let's just turn the roots on. So which direction are you buses going in? You're going in that direction. Just keep you there so I don't get the routes uh, mixed up. So... Yeah, so if we have you going in there... I think that will work perfectly. Right, so you can go in there. And our final route in this chain will go from our machines factory there into our industrial commercial zone. I think that's industry, isn't it? Yes, it must be. Yep, that makes sense. That's good. That's good. So we will call you machine delivery. Let's get some vehicles on the run. Right, we'll take out the full 30 million. So we need a train. Okay, we've got some new ones now. Arrived. It's the Royal Scott. 80, far too fast. Pacific, 75. Lovely and powerful, but I think you're too fast for this route. Actually, let's check that. Uh, my ore wagons. You can go at 60. 
what were the different um, liveries for, for different train companies? Why are they... Oh, this one loads a lot slower <laughs> than this one. But that one does carry more stuff. Okay. Uh, oh, no, you go. Ah, you go 75. And you're a GWR wagon. Great Welch Railways. That's what it stands for. Honestly, it does. Uh, you go 60, so you're better, I think. And the trouble is, you think you are expensive. Yeah, I think we'll take you. So we want a train that goes 60, but is reasonably powerful. Uh, let's take our list down again. We've got you at 68, 560 power. Ooh, you're nice. You are nice and powerful. 60, 1030. Nearly 4 million. I think you are going to be our best bet. So can I find you again? You are the black guy here. And it describes them as reliable. Yeah, so we will take you. That's adding one of you. We'll add on some of these GWR wagons. Oh, this is sheeted version covered with a tarpaulin when loaded. Who covers coal and iron ore in a tarpaulin? Not me. Oh, we've got a variety of them. You load faster, though, because yeah, you're carrying specific goods. Interesting differentiation, that. Right, so how many of these can we get on here? So we've still got excellent speed. We've still got good speed. Uh, how many wagons is this? <laughs> two, three, four. That's eight. Can I put another two on there? We've still got good speed. Obviously, it's a really nice, powerful locomotive. 70 capacity. That's a nice start, I think. You're costing me seven million. Okay, we'll, over, we'll take it down to that for the time being, I think, because I still need to buy all those trucks. So we'll buy you and we'll put you on Newport Iron and Coal. Splendid. And so here he is. Our latest train, Newport Iron and Coal, arriving at uh, the Iron Ore Mine, which I've now renamed as Roger Mines. I, I just took a moment there to rename all the stops appropriately, like calling the, the station at the sawmill, the sawmill station. Oh, that is a lot of... Oh, my goodness. It's already overflowing. Yeah, I think we could definitely do with at least two trains on this line. Uh, and I should be able to afford that soon, actually, if they're turning out to be profitable. There he is. Fifth, I've, yeah, half uh, full. And he's heading off now to pick up the remainder of that consist, which is the coal, to move forward on to the steel foundry. So, yes, when you join me next episode, you may well see, if I remember to show you, two or more trains running up and down this part of South Wales. Is there any... Yeah, there are very few passenger trains running this part of the country. I think we need to work on that for the next episode. But that's it from me. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, it'd be great to hear from you. A little bit of a like would be lovely. Click on the old thumbs up button. Would be awesome. Even better though, if you've got any thoughts, hints, tips, suggestions, recommendations, criticisms even of what we're doing, then please do let me know. Drop a note into the comments box below. And of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you could do that now. Just click on the old subscribe buttony thing. And don't forget, apparently, clicking on the bell can be a good thing too. So I look forward to having you join me for the next episode. But from me, Ajax Post, here in Transport Fever 2. Until the next time, bye bye for now.